Astonishing X-Men number 4 by Charles Soule and Carlos Pancheco. After stabbing a British police officer, the X-Men must stop Logan. But how? Angel can't do it. Bishop will try, but as Charles Xavier tells her, it's going to take Psylocke. She tells him that if she does so, the others will be trapped in the astral plane, but if not, Logan will just kill her anyway. As he knocks Bishop out of the building, Psylocke attacks. She counters his moves and throws him out of the building as well. Meanwhile, on the astral plane, Mystique lounges in an old apartment with Phantom X among champagne. He mentions that they're still trapped, but Mystique tells him that if they're going to go out, she's going to go out in style. Back in reality, Bishop hurls to the ground, but is able to use the kinetic energy in his body to slow him down. He doesn't do the same for Logan, who lands with a thud and is later shelled by the nearby police helicopter. On the astral plane, Gambit and Rogue relax in a hot tub, but as he touches her hand, she remembers. It could be a trap, but Gambit looks like he's willing to take the risk. In London, Angel reminds the police that Logan cannot be killed. He leaps aboard the helicopter and takes a swipe after swipe before Warren finally hits him fast, flying him through a building before he lands and takes two sales associates back with him to the Shadow King. And speaking of, panel after panel shows Mystique, Phantom X, Gambit, and Rogue living it up. Beaches, jet skis, ballroom dancing. Finally, Gambit makes his move. Suddenly in an embrace, the mutants kiss their partners, but Gambit finds himself alone. The issue wraps with Phantom X, Rogue, and Mystique whisked away with the dead Charles Xavier, who reminds them that he has some explaining to do. Missing is Gambit, to whom he explains that he was unable to save him. At that moment, the raging Cajun's eyes pop open in London with Farouk's black stare. What happens next, though, will have to wait, as this issue is left to be continued. A more grown-up spin on the X-Men, this issue was probably more intense than I've seen in a long time. Obviously, these characters are supposed to have human desires, and one has to think just how much it must torture them to just have to save the day all the time and never act upon them. Still, the astral plane in the Valley of the Shadow King is no place for hanky-panky. All I know is this book is beginning to really have it all and is deliciously old school, still affirming how much I miss Professor X. Is this teasing his return to the world of the mortals? One can only hope. I give this issue a 10 out of 10. If you like this video, there's hundreds more like it, spending several current and classic story arcs. Click the boxes here for more playlists. This video is also accompanied by my blog at nerdiestkidyouknow.com. You can also follow links to my Facebook or Twitter pages, as well as a link to this very issue for sale on my eBay page by clicking below. For the Nerdiest Kid You Know, I'm Sam Torito. Thanks for watching.